Hey, Booker Corrigan here with Frederick Running Festival race director, Rachel Ridgway. Rachel, thanks for joining us here on CSC TV. It's my pleasure. The Care First Frederick Running Festival takes place May 3rd and 4th this year. Talk about some of the components that you really enjoy as being the race director. It's a lot of fun working with um, the entire staff. So we have the Corrigan staff, we have our volunteer staff, um, we have the Frederick City um, Police Department, the Parks and Rec. We work with every. I, I have the luxury of working with everybody from top to bottom, and everybody really pulls it all together to make the event successful. And one of the things I've noticed in my research is it's a big time race with small town charm. Characterize for us some of the challenges you might face as the race director. Some of the challenges can be, I mean, it is a small town, so I might get a call from somebody who lives on the course who has a question and wants to know exactly what time they're going to be able to leave their driveway. Um, and because we, we want to work with people and make the event successful, we say, hey, come out and cheer from this time to that time. You're going to be free to leave your driveway, you know, at, at the exact minute. So um, it's, it is a great event. Um, and it keeps getting bigger and bigger. So that's one of the great things about it. It also makes it a challenge, you know, because we're still holding the, the same course, more people. So we work to make that as uh, successful as possible. And it's a tremendous course. We'll get into some of that in our other video. But let's talk about the success rate of the event itself, because 98% of your participants same, claimed they would like to recommend it to a friend, that's a fantastic average. Absolutely. And runners are choosy. There's a ton of races out there. Mm -hmm. um, so I take great pride in the fact that runners love the event, tell their friends about it, and they all come back because we, we step it up every year, better premiums, better medals. We want you to come back. This year you have the Nut Job Challenge for anyone who wants to run the 5K on Saturday night and then participate in the Care First Half Marathon the next day. Where did that idea come from, and do you have it in you to be a nut job? Absolutely. Um, yeah, the idea came from, um, you know, other races I've been to, other things I've participated in, where, um, like, the, the newest trend in the market is, okay, I know I can do this. What else can I do? What am I capable of? So we came up with the idea of let's, let's put people to test their limits or get people to test their limits. So... Why not do a 5K and then see if you still have it in you to run the the, mar the half marathon the day um, afterward. And and it sold out the first year and continues to be very popular. That's fantastic. And speaking of challenges, they have the King Crab Challenge for the Corrigan Sports Enterprise events. It is the Care First, Frederick Running Festival, mm -hmm. then the Baltimore 10 Miler, mm -hmm. and then the Baltimore Marathon. So mm -hmm. if you have it in you to meet that challenge, one, you're better than I am in running. I've yes. done one marathon and one half marathon. Uh, but that is extensive. That's a great calendar year of events. Uh, speaking of some of the other events that go on, Celebration Village right at the end of the course. Yes. How much fun is that? It is so much fun. You know, I've been to races where you finish and you head straight to the car and you don't get to really enjoy the moment. So we enjoy having the Celebration Village there. Runners hang out for hours. Sometimes it's like, okay, yeah. <laughs> we want to go home now. It's been three or four hours after the race. But um, the Celebration Village is so much fun. There's stuff there for the kids to do. There's um, there's a live band playing. There's food. There's beer. I mean, we have a great time in there. And there's a kids' fun run that yeah. takes place the night before. Yes. The 5K takes place the night before. And then the big blowout on Sunday morning with yeah. the Care First Half Marathon. Rachel Ridgway, the race director, you've been involved for such a long time. First year, had a little snowfall, yes. and I know you were a volunteer then, and then you came on board full force as the race director just a couple years later. Yeah. Yeah. Talk about your timeline with the Frederick Running Festival. So the first year I actually ran, um, I ran the whole marathon that year, um, and it snowed. We had a freak blizzard. The race was in March that year, um, and it was miserable from start to finish. <laughs> And um, so I finished the race and thought, you know what, I think we can do better. And so the second year I volunteered. And by the third year they said, you should probably just be the race director. So I've been race director ever since and have really enjoyed seeing the event grow. That's a fantastic way to celebrate. And thank you so much for all that you do for the Frederick Running Festival. I'm Booker Corrigan. 
Rachel Ridgeway, thanks for joining us here on CSE TV.